We should be doing work, but instead we're playing video games. Hello everybody, it's Gaining Experience playing a little more Magic, and this week is a new uh, event uh, that's hit up Magic Arena called Gideon's Sacrifice Ravnica. So basically in the fifth part of the storyline, uh, war is still going out on, on Ravnica, so the only restrictions for this deck list is that you can only use cards from Ravnica, Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, and War of the Spark, but Gates of Blaze is banned. So we'll start the event. Uh, choose the deck. So I chose, I based on a suggestion deck that was online, I decided just to build Boros Aggro, uh, which is white, red, aggressive cards, just because uh, I feel like control decks are a bit unwieldy and a little slow for me to actually get some good fun in. So it's running uh, two Law Re Reinforcers, two Bounty Agents, I feel are going to have to deal with some of our legendary problems. Uh, Stun Home. Oh, it's mentoring. Mentoring is the focus in this deck. And I don't have enough uh, rare slots to get extra cards. So this is what I got. Sun Home Stalwarts. Uh, Swift Blade Vindicators, which if I could, I would add more to it. But I don't have any more rares. Lava Coils and Justice Strikes for our control uh, to make sure we get rid of problems. Legion War Boss, Tajik, and Gideon if you want to get aggressive at the 3-drop slots. Aurelia, True Fire Captain, and Concave Tribunals with two integrity interventions and the rest of the mana packages, including two Boros Gates, because we don't have the perfect mana base without the other cards. But with that, let's uh, let's give this deck a try. And if it doesn't work, well, no, no, submit deck. There we go. All right, so the top prize for this is an alt art Hawatli, and this one is an alt art Ashiok, and this one's an alt art Sarkin. So let's do it. Let's get the old headphones on so I can hear what I'm playing. And I feel like you can be a little... Although it's uh, at first glance, playing aggressive decks can be a bit mindless. Just play cards and push. But unfortunately, you, you end up getting into situations where you have to stop and think about what you're doing. Uh, that's not the case here. I'm pretty sure we're good. Doesn't have haze, so we gotta take a second. Oh no. I think they might be doing the all the mono white plan. All white cards and Yep, Tide Taker. Okay. Ow. Double strike. That'll stop the the Tide Taker from going in. I'm thinking next turn I'll throw down the Sun Home Stalward and keep integrity on, on my turn to make sure it doesn't die randomly. Okay, our opponent is thinking. One angle they could do is to tap out with everything and conclave my Swift Blade, which is a little risky. Ooh, or next turn I can throw down a Gideon and give it some extra oomph. Oh no, that's what they're doing. Never mind. Oh man, I can't block it now. Which I won't. Okay. Is this sorcery? No, it's instant. Okay. Double strike here. Give it that extra mm to make sure that it is gone. Double strike means hits it twice. Uh, Gideon next turn, for sure. What will you do, opponent? Miss, uh, questionable magic shot? Monsieur or Madame? I would love to get a Tajik, but this is what we're going to have to deal with. What are they doing? Ow! Stop! Yamete kure! Oh yeah. If I give it to lead the charge of the darkness. Um, what are you gonna give it? I'm thinking I will lend you my strength. Vigilance. I don't, I'm not worried about my life yet. 
Mentor Trigger gives an extra 1-1 one -one counter to the Swift Blade, making it a 2-2 two -two Double Strike Vigilance Trout. Trample. Oh, did I already have Vigilance? Whoops. Whatever. Oh, sassy. Alright, alright. I see your angle. Could tap me down. Don't you tap me down. Oh, no. Oh, they really want it dead. I surrender. Throw the bounty agent down. Going for a little 2 2 double strike action. Yeah! Again! I'll end my turn for now so I can actually pay for the justice strike. They could tap them both down and we're going to get into a bad scenario, but... Odd. Hmm. Let's do it. It's gonna be a zeal. Okay. So it just gives two two. So I'll just strike it so that no matter what, it's going down because the first strike kicks in first. Uh, nothing but mana. Gate, I'm gonna end my turn. Oh, another Gideon. Nuts. Is it indestructible? Yes, it is, so I can't destroy it. With, uh, with Bouncy Agent, which I could if it wasn't indestructible. Ass. Wow, I'm getting flooded. Bring it on. I worry that that bird's gonna finish me at some point. Oh, or the two birds. Three to anything. I have to keep that in mind. They'll trade with my bounty agent, unfortunately. Might not be a bad thing. That happened. I'm okay with this, actually. End my turn. Uh, nothing but land, huh? Pass. My turn. What? These lands. This deck should not be running this many. Okay, gotta be careful here. Ooh. This is fine. Let's, uh, what's the card called? There's a card like this, which is much, uh, less, inex less expensive. It's, uh, Lightning Helix. Oh, this game is over. Aurelia! Not dead yet, but and my turn. They went with one aggro deck, and I went with another, which got flooded for no discernible reason. Yes, let's see if I can get the the three wins for that at least. We 
could do it. This uh, this aggro deck has a lot of promise. With the restrictions of only Ravnica cards, there's no shock or lightning strike. So you gotta do it the old-fashioned way. I've got mana, but I've got also a slow run. Let's mulligan. You got it. Um, yeah, I do need that last land. That way the curve will actually happen. This is a different interpretation of the uh, aggro deck, huh? If they throw another cat, I'm in trouble. Maybe I'll give it indestructible as Gideon. Oh no! Stop it. Ooh, a justice strike is exactly what I want. I think next turn is a Justice Strike turn. And then Aurelia and Gideon. Oh my. Oh no. No, I'm not blocking. How dare you. Trash the Pride Mate. Get a blocker down. Swing? I'll trade if they put both of them in, because then they'll lose a lot of card advantage. Go oh, Resolute Watchdog. Okay. A lot of 1-1s one here. Unless they had a buff or something. Very strange. But I'm... Wonderfully on curve here. What will my opponent do? Oh, that's a paladin. Darn. The proliferation is real. So I have to throw the Aurelia now. I might be in trouble. If I do that, it's going to trade. No attacks. This is not good. I'm going to get hit by a lot. A lot. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. I'm going to throw Gideon down, give life flake, and hope for the best. Ah! What did it give it? Indestructible? Yes. If that's true, then... Oh, but I can't let it hit. Uh, three. Uh, that's eleven. I can take eleven. Ow! Okay. Gideon? Now I'm empty handed, so I gotta think this correctly. Lifelink is an issue, so I gotta do that. 2 2. Yeah, lifelink. Targeting itself. If I do it that, this will do this will block it and I won't get anything I want. I can't take six, so that's the worst part. Ooh, a lot of life there. Like, if you're fighting against another aggressive deck, it's board states like these that make everything suck. Your light will cleave the darkness. I can't take six. I can't let it proliferate either. Oh 
I'll lose that. They might watchdog it away, and then I'll lose everything. Can't take six, so I have to double. Oh, I'm gonna lose too much. I'll take four. They'll proliferate, but honestly, it's the only way I can keep things alive. Yep. Lifelink, obviously. On the flyer? Or on the... I think on this. Give it lifelink. If I give it to this, I'll guarantee a hit. If I give it to this, kill one thing. Yeah. Oh no, I died. I, I have lost. I just want to see what, what they'll do. Yep, I've lost. It's fine. I've fought worse. And I concede. They just got a better board set than I did. I ended up drawing six lands. So I don't wonder if I've got too many. Boros, hi -ya! Okay. If this one also ends up with me flooding out, I'll drop a Boral Skill Gate for another creature of some sort. Maybe a Divine, or maybe a Divine Justice or something. I'll keep it, but four lands, really? Land, land. Hopefully I draw something. Because I have a bad suspicion it's going to be another aggro deck. Hello! Let's do it, absolute. Island. Oh, they might be control then. If it's black, yep. Demir. We need to be a control deck. That's not irritating. I agree with this face, Gideon. That's irritating. Ideally, they should take the uh, the uh, Tajik because that's what's going to be first. Oh, Aurelia. Okay. See, I guess they didn't realize it. All right, okay, it won't be a counter spell. Uh, Essence Scatter, maybe. I don't think Essence Scatter is in the set. Uh, they can't use Tyrant Scorn. Got it. I kind of want them to. No, no, you gotta, you gotta throw them out there and make them have the issue. Gotta make them have the answer. Another Tyrant Scorn would time walk me a bit, but it's fine. Let's 
discovery. They're looking for lands. Yes, they found no lands. Maybe a bit of a runaway as soon as I throw another creature out. All right. Let's edit this a bit. I think we maybe have one too many lands. So, put that back. Scroll! Scroll! Let's see, let's see. Now, I don't need another justice strike. Although... Definitely and Clarion. Just one is probably a smart idea. Let's do it. Well, cards in the library are not so Okay, bye. Tips is over. Wow. I need one more land, and hopefully in uh, planes. But I'll keep it. It's got lava coil for another creature deck, which it won't be. Uh, please be Esper creatures. Nope, I've got nothing but lava coils. Useless lava coils. Nice. Tart, toss the, to, uh, toss the lava coil. Discard the lava coil. I was gonna say toss and discard, and unfortunately, wow, I dropped one land, and my ratios are all wrong. These confirmation biases. Nope. Against a control deck, if they have more lands than you, it's over. My computer is gonna explode! According to it, it's at 81 degrees centigrade. My computer's junk. It's like, it's uh, nine years old, actually. I built it before I went to university. And uh, while it can still function, it just, it's the cooling system. The cooling system blows. Okay, I've got answers for creatures, and I've got answers if they do nothing for a turn. Which is great. Great. Oh no, is it another control deck? Sort of, yeah. I'm not afraid of it though. Next turn I can coil out or justice it. I'm probably gonna coil. I feel like they're gonna force... If they do a Thought Erasure, that I can kill them no matter what. Discovery. You got it. It's gotta be a land, though, right? Coil. Gonna swing for two. Pass the turn. Blood operative. That's a weird thing to throw out now. Maybe I should have. If I knew they ran blood operatives, I probably would have kept the coil. Keywords to this. Swing for a 4 2 first strike, which you will not block. And now I've got a good defender against your 3 1. Ooh, Narset. What are they going to look for? She's going to get wasted at this rate, though. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. I can destroy it this turn, so I don't need to Justice Strike this or Tribunal. Just go to combat. Swing. Trigger, trigger. Eventually, they'll mentor each other. You got it. On my turn. The effect doesn't really matter to me. I'm playing a uh, color pair that doesn't quite draw co uh, cards that easily. Your and the two effects. I mean, it's great. But they're running a, a weirdly creature-heavy... Uh, 
they run that, then I could just destroy her. Ooh, what are they doing? You got it. I would take the tribunal. Yeah, that's a uh, catch-all removal spell. They can't play that and expect to get the life. Oh, they didn't take it. Okay, because they can't handle the life loss. Yeah, they realize that they're out of out of options. Because the first strike prevents them from getting the life law life gain. I got Hawali from uh life gain from blocking, so. Yeah. That makes me very happy. Let's get the gold. You can click a graveyard or exile zone to browse its contents. You got it. Against Slim Shady. I'm not gonna make the joke. Oh, I need an uh, I need a planes, but I'll keep it because of coil. If it's an if I see uh, an island first again, I'm gonna be so cross. Oh, okay, white blue control. Esper control. You got it. Okay. Prison realm. Pretty. Let's try one and then target something. War boss. Go at it. Make a 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one will just win. Another prison round. Pretty. It's one of the better removal spells. And it's a good catch-off for all the planeswalkers floating around from War of the Spark. I just gotta make sure I get put a more uh, put enough pressure in before they spiral out of control. Ooh, it's a fairy time reveler. Got a block. You got it. Another land would be pretty useful, actually. It's a weird choice. I guess they're all planeswalkers, huh? Spell. But I'll make you. Hmm. I want to save that coil for another problem. Another hero. Yeah, I'll save it for another hero. Trade for the triple flip. I can see it happen. Yeah, I'll trade with the Fibble Tip easily. I don't know what you were thinking there. Fighting a non fun deck. Fighting someone who's playing out Planeswalkers. I can kill some of them easily. Let's try this. 
shuffle it back. Take care of Ugin, take care of Teferi. Ooh, I forgot about the extra uh, mentor. Gotcha, okay. Narset, I'm not drawing cards, so that's okay. He's got mentor, great. Time Reveler again. It doesn't matter what they bounce, I'm gonna hit it to death. Throw one down. Throw the war boss down. I have to outpace them in terms of creatures. Is that three? Mentor, mentor! Can't target it twice because it's already equal. I really should have seen that coming. Open mind. Hmm. I'm inspired by a good assault. They must have drawn something. Another Narset for another peak. I'm not worried about life gain. I'm actually I was actually thinking of using the Clarion to gain lifelink, but I think that's unnecessary. An erasure? Oh, they're gonna take my war boss. I mean my true fire captain. It's only realistic, yeah, realistic card to take. One card in hand? What are they going to do? Foundry. Wait, they took the Clarion? Strange. Okay. One goblin each. Something I want dead for sure is Dolben. Let's do it that way. Two mentors. One here, and one here. Alright, a lot of tutus coming your way. A lot of bears. They could just let it all go. I would have kept the board state. I was incorrect. Go ahead and blow it. Okay. They really want our set up. They have a board wipe. That would suck. Meditate. Absolutely suck. Yep, I knew it. Oh, you were slow rolling me. I hate opponents like that. Pass. Stop on their battle st on their battle step. Two attackers. Tap it down. That's not going to help me yet. I, uh, what's it called? Lightning helixing right now is not a good idea. Could be now. Let's see what she does. Your corpse will make a this looks like a fun new toy. That's a lot of narsets. Wow. Gonna be a pain. They whiffed, so I gotta take care of that. Uh, I could actually destroy Kefnet next turn. Cool. Ah, 
<laughs> Take that. Tap it. I get two cards. They're gonna tuck first, then draw two cards. Closer to Kefnet. I've gotta land. If I don't draw something, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Yep. Yep. I could kill Kefnet. I'll get almost nothing out of it, but I could kill it. I kind of want them, don't, don't want them to get that effect either. Yeah, I'll do it. Yep. Yeah. It's just prolonging the inevitable here. It's real pain. Oh, these control decks are irritating. Hello, you're in the lead. Is easy to find I'm, I'm out of cards and I'm tapped out. Other than uh, connection errors, there's no reason for them to slow down. Nope. This is getting irritating. They're taking too long making simple movements here. Yeah. Okay, let's try again. We'll try at least two more times. Get the gold, and then I'll be it for today. It's ready. Akedion. Akedion? Akkadian? Okay, I've got some sort of a curve. A lot of Gideons, but we'll do our best. Ooh. Oopsie. We gotta be really choice about what we lava coil. Oh, it's red green. They won't block. It's their only form of ramp. Because there's no Lana where else in uh, Ravnica. What do you gotta do? It's, this is going to be a riot deck, because that's the only options you have available for you in Ravnica. Riot, huh? Big creatures? A drawing of the land, Gideon will be ideal. Lava Coil. Yep. But that takes their whole turn. It hits enchantments, too. Legendary enchantments, so I could hit Noah's Kanta. Right, right, Noah's Kanta's. Oh, it wouldn't even be the right color set. Uh, none of the legendary enchantments then. But I'm hurting for a land. I'm in the same boat there right now. Ugh. Get that away from me. Coil that to pieces. End my turn. Can't get in, so I got Tajik. Finally, their land. What do you do? Ooh, it's a Balt. Interesting. Mentor, one one buff. 
Or I could trash this. Oh, I can't gain life anyway. Yeah, let's try this. I don't need the Gideon yet. Not until I see something awful in the face. I'm gonna leave this behind because I feel like I'm gonna see some problems soon. They should let it go. Oh, okay. That means your extra burn will do nothing. Too Tajik. Has to go to me instead. Yep. Fine with me. They needed that ramp. It's one mana. Yeah. Is it one mana? Yeah, it is. Okay. This has to block Tajik, or else it won't work. Because his ability says you can't uh, ping with damage to other creatures. Is it legendary? It's not. So it's my turn. Oh, that's unkind. No. Fight Gideon. Instructable. That won't actually mean anything. So, nope. Let's do what we thought first. Um, they both go he'll die, so I'll just do this. I can give him first strike whenever I feel like it. Ah, uh, yeah! You thought poorly, sir. Or madam. It's so weird holding two Gideons in hand and realizing now it's not a good time for that. They can't give it haste or I'll tap it down. Oh, I can't because it's their turn. Never mind. Do it! Okay, I gotta, I gotta deal with this though. It's not legendary, I can tap it down. I tap it down. <laughs> I can get in for a bunch of extra damage. So I guess I will. I am here to aid in the assault. The chance. No. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can run away with it if I just give something lifelink. If I did that, then they really can't outpace me without going after Gideon, and I'll have another Gideon in hand. Sweet. If I win this one, I'll get enough, maybe, to do a draft later. Yeah! It's circular. It's circular. I was going to say secular. Like, it's religious! Sorry, everybody. Angela messed with me again. Oh, it's in July. Let's fight C25100. I mean, it's imaginative, I guess. Alright, let's see. Depending on what they throw first, I've got some answers, but nothing special. I feel like this first. Oh, they might be Esper. Ooh, I gotta go fast. I can get the good value rares out first. Or's off. You got it. No heroes. Not in this house. Especially with these colors, they could bring it back. Somehow. I'm all out of tricks, though. Another card would be great. What did I just tell you? First strike, and then I'll just strike it. And then the last hit will go to them. Because of trample. 
The trample keeps going, even if there's no, no target in front of them. Uh, that will come up in the next set when we get to protection against specific colors. And they will bring back Krill Celebrant. They shouldn't, but they will. No, they should just ping me. That's the only way to keep this thing alive. No, they made a poor choice. Okay. I'm not gonna... No, I'm, I'm not gonna... Them. Sword. Mentor here. First double strike and trample. Which means he's gone. Okay. I'll save the uh, lava coil for something worse. Because now that I know they run Sorens, gotta watch out for what I kill. Yes! Take that. Gold! Ooh, free stuff. D spark. Oh, that would have been cool. Oh, got the money. I got the mons. Okay, that was fast. Let's just do one more. One more. I curved out extremely well and ended up drawing nothing but lands, not unlike uh, the Magic the Gathering game that they release on consoles, like the Xbox 360 for one, PS3, and PS4. Uh, when you're doing the tutorial games, if you the moment like they give they give you enough cards to do what you want to to finish the level, but after that it's, they get flood you. They just do nothing but lands. I'll keep it because I've got two coils and maybe if another land shows up, I can lose. Yep, the land, the world's my oyster, but I'm fighting. It's a mirror. Oh no, not quite. I think it's a feather deck. Which means that has to go. And I have to save this one for feather itself. Tapped. That's not good for them. Tajik, light the way. With your sword. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, this is going to be where it gets dicey. Specifically, they should throw down feather and a spell. Ooh. No feather, though? That's weird. Defiant strike, cast another defiant strike. I guess. Oh, no, they should be looking for Samet's uh, rush or whatever. Yep, they'll cast it again. That's some good value. It's still within Lava Coil range, so I gotta be careful here. Blah! Ow. Rude. There we go. Something. If they did that maneuver again, it would really suck. Two. If I add four to that. No death here. That took their whole turn, too. They can swing and get the... Swing and get the plus two, plus two, but that's all they can do with that. Find strike, huh? Okay. It's clever. To find strike for the card draw, but they'll lose it forever. So, if Feather isn't out, then Dreadhorde Arc Arcanist is the, the go to. Makes sense. Oof! If I get aggressive. I might... Let's give it a shot. No, both. I could take one more hit of that. But if they throw something big, I am possibly doomed. They're going for Boros Aggro in a different angle, and I like it. 
There's not just one kind. Ew. So for another three, I can take that. Aurelia. Take four. That's not good. Whoa. It's getting spicy here. What? Why? You could have got an extra value there with the mentor. Okay. Yeah. Pass the blockers. I gotta block this way. Trade. Get that value out of here. It's not good. Give this life link. Oh no! My mouse! It went over past. It just passed the turn. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. It's over. That was a misclick. I would have gotten nine life. It was nine to nine. That was a misclick. I hate this mouse. Sorry, Angela sent me an image of uh, Danny with his hair up in a strange way. Mulligan, I need something early. And this is early enough. Sure. Misclick. That was a terrible misclick. I could have had another two turns of gameplay. Okay, here's some old school aggression. Yeah, do it to that. You gotta do something. Oh my. No settle either. Mentor that, then mentor that. Opponent, are you okay? You gotta do something here. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> if you don't do something, I win. Alright, I'm pretty sure I can get this. I know I've been saying one more game, and it's just because I've been winning quickly, but, you know, it's fun. Oh, they're finally getting their hair done? Wow. Oh, it goes first. I've got mana. It's a little jank, though, so I gotta throw Plains, Law, Law Rune Enforcer, then Boros Guildgate. That's the problem with having tap lands. Ooh, I, I like that in the next set. We're gonna get the scry lands, uh, tap, the temples from uh, uh, the Theros block, where if they, can, they come into play tap, they get to scry one. It kind of, in the early game, it, ma it totally makes up. Oh, you monster. It totally makes up for the the loss in tempo. They got rid of the Liliana. It's a little strange. There's not a lot of fun playing the Demir. Da Ooh, pretty. Blast it. Do it. Wrong card. Go at him. Yeah. One. Do that. Uh, I'm on. They're on an 18 turn clock. Oh, 
another thought erasure. They'll take the Aurelia. It's the best repeatable uh, value engine in my hand. They don't need another blast on, they need mana. Like, they actually need real mana. Damage. Throw down the captain. They saw it earlier. Aha! They have magic the whole time. Aha! They had removal the whole time. 17 turns to go, everybody. Why are they keeping the blast zone up like that, anyway? Yeah, you gotta... You need three mana to blast it up. End of my turn. They need double blue if they want to actually use the, uh, saboteur. Or, uh, sabotage. I just don't want them to take it right now. They already know I have the Lava Coil. They're just using it for the Surveil. Wow, really? Why? What is in their hand? Strange. And my turn. Since they've been peeking at my hand so much, I'm just gonna hold on to the land. Ooh, Kefnet. Ugh, that's a problem. Although I could destroy it right now. But I won't. I can just tap it down whenever I feel like it. Why am I getting lands? I can't destroy it now. The value is too stupid. Uh-huh. Tap you down. If I got any hasty creatures now, I'd be very excited. But now I'm dealing with a Kefnet and a... Yeah, they're gonna destroy it anyway. They'll just get it back this turn because they can put two away and then pick it up. Unless the top two really work. Oh yeah, they kept it. Okay. Discovery again. Pass. I have to pass. Kept that's next turn. Do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It sucks, but I gotta do it. Now they just gotta be quite careful about swinging with Kefnet. Uh, they have me at a dis- Oh no! Nope. That was a top deck. They're playing garbage and they got that. Ah, that's okay. We'll end this episode here. Oh, I got the gold. Yeah. So I'll end this episode here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Watching my uh, Magic Arena experience <laughs> go down the drain. But other than that, uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, 
Talk to us in our Discord. On our main page is a link to our Discord. Almost everybody gets in anyway. So there's almost like no no vetting for now. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. This week I hope to be playing Bloodstained. One of the Bloodstains. Or at least one of the new Castlevania games, that's for sure. So I'll talk to everybody later. See you guys.